collection just because I used to have a lot of makeup. Um, I do consider this is a small makeup collection. So let's start with my base makeup collection. This is the entire tub with the face makeup. So let's get started with this first. So I'm going to start with primer. I have two primers. The first one is this Bobbi Brown uh, primer. I absolutely love this primer. This is very thick and moisturizing, but it's not very oily also. This primer slash moisturizer is everything that I need. Only a bit of primer goes a long way. So yeah, it's lasting me good amount of time next primer is my favorite primer i keep repurchasing this over and over again this is the silicone based primer it's from color bar is the cc cream which is what i use uh, regularly this is the lacme 9 to 5 cc cream next i have here is a concealer i have this from a long time which i actually like this is from derma color camouflage cream concealer it's in the shade 100 as you can see i have used quite a bit but it's uh, very thick so it lasts a bit long next i have is this foundation this is from pack this is a bit yellowish but uh, this is my perfect shade otherwise um, it has full coverage and i really like this foundation comes with a pump i am in the shade 3.1 Next foundation I have here is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is my absolute favorite. I trust this whenever I want to do some makeup. I always reach out for this because the finish and the coverage is just absolutely beautiful. And I am in the shade Rich Ginger. I do feel like this is a tad bit darker on me, but otherwise it's just beautiful. Next, moving on to powders, I have Nykaa's Compact Powder another recent purchase and recent favorite of mine i really like this this is great for everyday use the next compact powder i have here is this this is the max studio fix uh, powder foundation another absolute trustable compact powder you do not need any foundation or cc cream if you want to use just use the moisturizer and this one it's just good to go for a regular usage as well and if you wear a foundation and uh, layer this on top of it it gives nice matte uh, finish but i'm still using this and i am sure it's gonna last me another year next another powder i have here is this from uh, k beauty I actually ordered this online i love the coverage i love the finish how fine uh, the powder is i just love everything about this just another problem is that uh, because i have ordered this online it's uh, just tad bit darker on me uh, however i'm trying to make this work moving on to blushes uh, this is from sugar this is in the shade peach peak this is how it looks it's just uh, works great on me it's not very pink on camera it is looking a bit uh, deeper in shade but it has peach under undertones to it which suits me perfectly another blush uh, slash highlighter sort of thing i have here is this from Orbo. It's very old but i really like it so i still have this it has peach uh, orange undertones and then there's a highlighter shade it's com it's a combination of both blush and highlighter I actually forgot that i have another blush this is from bobby brown it's a tinted blush um it's both cheek and lip tint this is how it looks it's very creamy and you don't need a lot i have used it uh, but not a lot moving on to bronzers i have two bronzers one is from um, essence this is the Sun Club bronzer. It smells like coconut. It's amazing. I have also had this from a while. You don't need a lot of product, uh, but this is uh, pretty good. The next bronzer and slash contour I have here is this from is this one from Sugar. This is the Contour de Force uh, in the shade Woody Wonder. Another perfect uh, bronzer shade for me. Now moving on to highlighters, I have three highlighters. The first one is this one from Sugar again. I actually got this free when I got the other two, uh, contour and blush. This is in the shade Royal Rose, which is the champagne sort of um, 
highlighter which is really good this one is from bobby brown i absolutely love this again a very trusted product this is how it looks i have used it quite a bit but it still looks very good next i have here is this one from revolution this is the sun kiss um, highlighter it's a very big highlighter again i have used it quite a bit but it still looks very intact i don't need any more highlighters i think i'm done now and lastly i have a fixing spray this is from uh, wet and wild this is the natural finish uh, setting spray i don't use a lot of setting spray either i use a rose water uh, or i don't use it at all now these are the two beauty blenders i have this is for uh, concealer and stuff this is for the entire face so next moving on to this stuff all i have are my mascaras eye pencils eyeliner and some tools which i will share with you this is the mascara from maybelline this is the total temptation mascara i do not like waterproof mascara this is the non-waterproof variant um, and yeah it's a it's a pretty good one then i have this eyelash color i got from uh, i think miniso then i have an eyelash glue this is from i'm not really sure i just got it from flipkart next i have here is this glimmer eyeliner pencil and then i have this plucker i think again i got this from miniso itself then i have this mascara from bobby brown which i use for eyebrows which i absolutely love then i have another eyeliner this is from lacme this is how the tip looks i have another one which is also lacme with a different tip so this is the eyebrow pencil this is from etude house again a very good one this is the brush and this is how the pencil looks next i have here is this swiss beauty glitter eye gel it looks really pretty but i haven't used it so much and i have here is the lacme eyeliner i think i've been using this from about 15 years or more next i have here is this lacme iconic mascara another favorite of mine which i can't seem to get rid of yes this is another lacme eyeliner this is how the tip looks next i have here is this in color pencil this is the brown eye pencil um, next i have here is this essence mascara which is for lower lashes another beautiful product next i have here is plum kajal absolutely wonderful product then i have here is this l'oreal lash paradise mascara another favorite of mine next i have here is this pack uh, lip pencil i only have one lip pencil um, which is perfect brownie nude shade for me i think it goes with everything i i need to sharp this next i have here a single eyeshadow this is from wet n wild next i have here is miss claire eyebrow pencil lastly i have this sharpener from plum now let's move on to eyeshadows so i have the nika k eyeshadow palette this is in the shade birthday cake has really really good shades however all of them aren't pigmented some of them are really good some of them are not so great another beautiful eyeshadow palette is this from nika k this is in the shade poison apple in this palette however all of the shades work very very well this is another favorite palette of mine next is this from la colors one um, one of the eyeshadow is broken next i have here is this ivana colors makeup eyeshadow palette i have a review on this a uh, long time ago i just cannot throw this palette um, it has all the good colors that i need next palette is this i heart chocolate makeup revolution uh, rose gold palette every color is just beautiful everything works so great all of them are very very pigmented and lastly i have this eyeshadow palette this is from makeup revolution this is the fortune favors the brave palette this is the collaboration with the british bloggers again i have all the colors that i need however uh, i don't like this palette over the the rose gold eyeshadow palette this has beautiful colors but the pigmentation is not so high the coverage is not so high 
that's it for my makeup collection i hope you enjoyed this video i also have a separate video on my lipstick collection if you want to watch that i will leave the link in the description and i will see you in my next video bye